What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Just if you JP that house. Okay, so I'm gonna continue on my Thailand stories. I don't know what number this is, but I'll figure it out. Anyway, um, oh, so I went to Thailand once, and I think this was when I was after my divorce, my from my second wife. And when I go, every time I go to Thailand, I usually run into some African bros, and those are the guys who. Actually, you know, I don't even think I met any American brothers in Thailand. If I did, it would have been in Phuket. But it would have been just like, hey, how you doing? Where you from? Blah, blah, blah. And that was it. Because, you know, you know, our most bros in the States, that, you know, well, I wouldn't say in the States, but when they're in the, um, well, I, at least I, I'm almost positive sure most of the uh, American brothers that go to America. I mean, I go to America, but go to Thailand, go there for a specific purse. I mean, purpose, and whatever it is, you know, everybody go for it. Everybody do things for a specific purpose, plus any other purposes that are attached to it. And um, in the club, you know, they get a drink on with their homies, and then another brother come up, you know, trying to, you know, introduce himself, you know, and you know, talking stuff like that. You know, a lot of times brothers aren't, at least the brothers I know from America aren't trying to hear that. You know, they like get the fuck out of my face. You know, not in those words, but you know, I'm not saying it was cruel or anything, but I'm not saying they said that, but you know how this is like that. But when I go to um, when I go to clubs in um, Japan and stuff like, or well, when I went to the clubs in, um, I mean not when I went to the clubs, but when I went to um, Thailand, I would run into these African brothers, and um, they were cool. You know, they bought they bought their own stuff, you know, and doing their own things, but. You know, at least I could talk to him. You know, I get a a good conversation. These five minutes out of it, not one, not not like a quick thirty, thirty seconds, and that's it. So, um, I went to somewhere in Thailand. I'm thinking I went to that one. I can't not papaya, papaya, something. I forget, but it's in Bangkok, and it's um, I forgot the name of the road, but it's in Bangkok City. And it was a rain. It's like a road like this, but at night they turn into um, like a shopping center, and so where people set up the um, vin, vin, um, the vendors, you know, come and then the clubs are op- are right there, you know, and they open up and stuff. And so I was out there hanging out, and I saw this one African guy, real tall, like six 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 seven, or maybe six eight, maybe six seven six eight. And so I don't know how we started talking, but I'm I'm almost sure he looked so. You know, instead of being rude and stuff, you know, a rude brother, a black man, you know, from America. You know, I walked over and said, what's up? So we started talking and stuff. And so he said, hey, you know, what you doing? I said, you know, I just, you know, I'm from, I live in Japan and you know, I just come out here for business and, you know, I'm just chilling. He said, hey, you want to go to some clubs? I'm like, all right. And then so we started talking to the dude was telling me how he sold rubies out there from Africa and stuff, but they weren't valued as much as the ones from Burma. Miramar or whatever the polite name is and um, you know some other stuff happened anyway he told me some other stories that's not part of this uh, series I can talk about that later but so anyway we went to some clubs and stuff and you know it was in a normal place that place and he took me to some other areas where they were partying and stuff right so we walked into this one club and it wasn't big but it wasn't small and there was um I think we were sitting down or something, and we saw these two females, a sister from England, she was bad, and a white girl, she was bad too, both of them were cute, but they were like maybe 24, 25 or something like that, you know, still um, in a happy mode, not saying anything, um, you know, still kind of like uh, kiddish a little bit, but I'm sure they were educating everything. The way you, you know, that your education and the way you act has nothing to do with anything, you know. But your social is socializing is a different thing. But, you know, in Thailand, people, you know, they really let loose and stuff. So uh, we were just sitting there. We saw them and stuff. And he wanted to talk to him. And I was like, whatever, go ahead and talk. You know, he was like a little shy. So I walked over there and said, hey, y'all, you know, what's up? Y'all with somebody? They said, no, I said, well, come sit at our table. And like, just like that, I'm like, yeah, why not? You know, you want to sit here by yourself? You want to come sit here and, you know, sit over there and talk to us? I mean, you know, you're still in the club. You're only a few feet from the table where you're from. And, um, you know, we're not dangerous. <laughs> you know, we sitting, you know, we were sitting over there. And, you know, we weren't bothering you. So just, you know, just come sit with us. You know, so 
you know what I'm saying? So, like, all right, cool. So, dude came over and sat with us, and, you know, we were talking. And then um, the bro, I guess, he was filming his sister. And the white girl, she was filming me, but I wasn't really feeling her. Not because I didn't want to feel her, but it was just because I was just, at that time, I don't know, maybe it was just, you know, because I don't know how old I was. I was probably 30. The baby, I got to Japan when I was 30, 35, maybe 37. And I wasn't, um, not, it wasn't that I didn't want to do anything with it. It wasn't that, but I was just thinking that it would be better because the night was still young that I would leave her alone so she can meet someone closer to her own age, you know. So basically, you know, it's just like saving her, you know, hopefully some young guy come along and grab her instead of, you know, her, you know, she'd be able to me and stuff, you know. So we're all talking and stuff, and um, the um, brother and this, uh, the African brother and the uh, English sister, they, they hit it off, you know. And they, you know, them two start touching and kissing and stuff, you know. And uh, our girl, she was like, well, the English girl, she was like, you know, touching me a little bit, you know, and wanted to kiss, but I was like, nah, nah, you know. I don't know what I was tripping off of, you know, because I could have just said, yeah, I took her home, and bam, that would have been it. So we ended up going to another club, and them two still going at it. And some white guy came up by himself. And um, he saw us, you know, and them two over there, you know, doing what they doing and stuff. And um, he walked by, he looked at me and said, what's up? He said, what's up? I said, where you from? And I think he was from, I don't know if he was from America or England. I mean, England, uh, blah, 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 Europe or whatever. I'm not sure. But he was from, a, I guess, an English colony, I guess. So it would have been either Australia or... I'm thinking Australia, or um, I'm sure he wasn't American. Uh, I don't think Canada, so maybe Australia or England or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> so um, I said, Hey, you know, are you with anyone? He said, No, I said, Come sit with us. So he's like, All right, you know, it's cool. I said, Yeah. And he was like, Well, well you know, but y'all with these girls and blah, 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 you know, and I don't want to intrude. I said, No, just sit down. So we said, and, you know, we all start talking and stuff. And then um, he asked me was, um, you know, that white girl was my girl. And I was like, I mean, the English girl was my girl. And I was like, nah, you know, she's Hingo, you know. And he was like, really? I said, yeah. I said, go ahead and talk to her, you know. He said, just like that. I said, yeah, you know, go ahead. Well, I mean, just not just like that. But he said, really? You know, and I said, yeah, you know, just go ahead and talk. You know, so he was like, cool. So then two started talking. And I guess she was ready to go. And them two started touching and stuff and kissing. And I'm just sitting there, you know. I've got two people on both sides of me, you know, two couple on both sides of me, you know, make it out and stuff. So then we left and went to another bar and um, started, um, started, uh, you know, drinking and some more and stuff. And then all of a sudden, the white girl told her friend, like, I'm out, you know. So them two, you know, the white couple, they bounced and stuff, you know. And so it was just us three blacks, and we were just all hanging out and stuff, you know. And so I'm getting tired because it's like 4 in the morning or 5 in the morning or 6 in the morning or whatever. And I said, well, I'm going to go home, you know. And I was like, no, no, wait, let's go to another club. So I ended up staying out for another hour or so. And I'm like, I'm going home. And then they was like, and I'm like, why don't you guys just go to a hotel or something, you know. But she didn't want to go back to her place. Because I think her friend took the white guy to where they were staying. And her brother, he didn't want to go back to his place because he had a roommate also. So I'm like, well, just get a hotel. But they didn't want to do that. And I'm like, whatever. So then they said, well, let's, can we stay in your room? And I'm like, what the hell y'all want to stay in my room for? You know what I'm saying? They said, come on, come on, you know. And I'm like, okay, fine. You know, should we sleep on the floor? I said, no, no, it's okay. My bed is big enough. So we all went back um, to my room. And I don't know, maybe I order some food or something i'm not sure and so we all got in bed together this is how we got finished it was funny right so i'm sleeping on one end the girl sleep on the other end and african dude he's sitting in the sleep and be and you know in between us you know and he just threw all along and stuff and he the bed was i guess it was massively big because he was able to fit in because it was really big though and so um i'm like why are you sleeping in the uh, middle you know He's like, well, you know this. I'm like, listen, man, I ain't trying to mess with this girl and stuff, you know. But just let her sleep in the middle. I don't want to be sleeping next to you. No, no, you know, you know, we're not gonna do anything and blah 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 and all this stuff. And of course, you know, I know you're lying and stuff, you know. 
I like whatever. So we all got in bed. But like I said, the bed was big. It was spacious. So it wasn't like he was on, on top of me. It was at least about a good 12 inches between me and him for sure. And when we all started laying and sitting, then I'm sure it was 12 inches between her and him or probably even more because she was smaller. And so I just crashed out and went to sleep. And um, I woke up the next day and um, I guess she just bounced. Um, me and him hung out for a little. I mean, you know, I took a shower and stuff. And he just, uh, how he was, and he just went on now. Um, we, you know, we went out and um, just walking around and stuff in the morning. And then, um, um, or maybe went to eat and then he went home. So then that night we ended up um, running into each other again because it was weird because I think I used to run into him at least three or four times every time I went out there. I don't know how I, we just ran into each other, I guess. Um, and it was weird because we didn't really run into each other on the clubs. It was like on the streets. So I don't know how that happened. And so we ran into each other the next night and stuff. When, um, I was like, oh, man, last night was fun. He said, like, man, why didn't you sleep with that white girl? You know, she was really feeling you. And I said, I know, but uh, I don't know, you know, because uh, my first wife, she kind of did it for me, <laughs> for white girls and stuff like that. Not that she was bad or anything, but and she, she wasn't actually the last one I was with. It. Um, I was in the military. There was um, two more that I did mess with and stuff. But, you know, it was, some, I don't know why, it was just more that maybe they were feeling me and I was just too nice to say no or something like that. So, um, he was like, yeah, we went to sleep and we ended up doing it and doing this and that and stuff. And we surprised you didn't wake up. We thought you were going to wake up and stuff. And I was like, no, why am I going to wake up? And even if y'all were doing something, I don't care, you know, because I really didn't care, you know. And, um. He was just telling me that I did it like two, two times or something like that. And, I'm like, and she was like making noise and stuff. And he kept putting his hand over her hand, over her mouth and stuff. <laughs> I was laughing. He said, we can't believe you didn't wake up. You didn't wake up. And I'm like, whatever, man. I mean, even if I did wake up, what am I supposed to do? You know, I'm not going to jump in and stuff. I don't care. You know, so that was funny, though. But, um, yeah, it was uh, interesting, you know. And, uh, and then I think um, after that, we went out and... We um was you know just hanging out and stuff, and I think um we hung out till like about one or something at night, and then he left because he said that um I guess she must have gave him her address or something or the hotel where she was staying at and the number or something. So I guess he must have called her or something. I don't know, but he left because they were supposed to meet up again and stuff. And I was like, wow. But I ain't gonna lie, both of them women were fine. That sister was bad, though, because, I don't know, because I haven't actually dated a, an English woman. I don't think I've actually spoken to one for any length of time. But that night that we all hung out and the conversation that we had, it was really fun. And it was weird because she was like, um, I mean, like, you know, when you hear from, well, that was a long time ago, but. Anyway, um, it was weird because she was like game, you know, and I'm saying, and I was like, wow. So, you know, I was thinking, you know, wow, the women are like that and stuff like that. But then later on, I started thinking, ah, maybe, you know, it's just because she just, you know, just meeting some new people and stuff, you know, because I could have easily been with her, you know. Actually, that's what I did, too. I said, hey, you know, because what it was, it was interesting because this is what happened. When we all hung out, the brother wasn't really interested in the sister at all, you know. And I had a little interest in her, but I wasn't. Like I said, when I go to Thailand, I don't go there. Well, I mean, if you guys don't know, I don't go there to have sex or anything like that. So, um, what happened was, uh, when I went there, the um, um, I was talking to her. She was really interested in me, I guess maybe because I was American or something. But um, we were talking stuff, and it was all cool and stuff. And the white dude, I mean, not the white dude, but the African bro, he was, like, really interested in that white girl. I mean, he was really interested, and them two were talking and stuff, and I thought for sure he was going to go home with her. But I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, what she said, or what he said. But the next thing you know, them two were, t um, he switched to the sister, and them two hit it off, so... <laughs> It was, it was funny though. So I was like, "Wow!" Like, well, that was one crazy night though. But and um, 
I had told some friends what happened to when I came back to Japan and they were laughing like why why did you, would you just let them come and then have sex in your bed and blah blah, blah. I'm like I don't know because I don't be thinking of stuff I said you know I don't think like that you know like I didn't grow up you know um having sex you know until I was 20 so you know I heard the stories you know a little bit here and there you know but I wasn't um it wasn't like I didn't grow up young or anything like oh but you don't let guys sleep in your bed and uh have sex with a girl in your bed and stuff like that you know the stuff that people talk about i never had those conversations i never really heard about it you know because i wasn't doing anything and i mean i've you know i've you know my the ogs they talk about the women that they've been with but it wasn't like all in detail like well it wasn't like specific like well you know I don't let no guy sleep in my bed, you know, and had a sperm spots all on my bed and my sheets and stuff like that. You know, there was no talk like that. Um, guys did talk about, um, you know, what they did to girls and stuff like that, what the girls did to them and things like that and stuff like that. But other than that, no. So it was like something that, I mean, it was like, you know, how some people get on a boat and they get seasick. You know, I never heard about seasickness or anything. So, um, I was in Thailand, took this test on the boat, and it was rocking and everything. And I was doing the test. I got to prime number 95. Everybody come, and they all bewildered, you know, why I wasn't sick. And I was able to read and take a test, and I'm like, huh? And then when as soon as they said something like that, five minutes later, I started getting sick, you know. And I was mad because I'm like, you know, why you guys, you know, I just got mad at them. But so I didn't know about those things. And um, I'm really, you know, maybe ignorant or simple or something like that because, uh, a lot of stuff that a lot of people generally might know, I didn't know. Or at least a group of people that I hung out with, they know about those things. I didn't know. So I didn't really care and stuff, you know, and phew, I didn't care. So but anyway, it was really interesting. I always think about that. But that dude was, I mean, he was really cool, really cool. But that's it. I'm out. Peace.